Hi, my name is Monroe Mann. I'm the executive director and projects manager at Break Diving Inc. And I want to show you something magical that you can do with Sublime, and I'm sure you can do it with other text editors. That's going to come in so handy one day, and you're going to be so grateful that you learn how to do this. So earlier today, I realized there was a typo or a number of typos here in this text file, which is part of this seeds.rb. And I could not find it. I kept finding a, a spelling error here, a spelling error there, and I kept writing the seed file and I kept getting errors. And it was driving me crazy because I did not want to go through all of these. I just couldn't do it. I was trying and I failed miserably. I cannot do it. And I thought, okay, well, what's an easier way to make sure that the left side here matches the right side? without having to retype it all over again. Well, I remembered that in languages.txt, I have all of the languages and they're all spelled properly. So what I did is first I said, I'm gonna do something crazy and delete this. And I just remembered the format. It was the language, then this pipe symbol, then linguist, then this short dash, and then the language name. So let me delete this, okay? And I'm gonna go languages.txt and I press Control C I'm copying it all. How did I highlight this, by the way? It's Control A and then Control C to copy. Then I go back to language group and paste it. And you're thinking, oh, well, that's great, but you need that language twice. How am I possibly going to get the language on there twice? At first, I started to retype them all last week, and then suddenly I discovered this amazing tool that's going to blow your mind. So what I'm going to do is copy, uh, highlight everything, Control A, and then I'm going to go to selection and split into lines. So now you'll see the cursor has been duplicated 215 times here. So now what I'm going to go back here is go over here and copy this again. Go to language groups.txt and go to the beginning of the line right there. You see it's still as I move it back and forth. Press paste. How awesome is that? I just duplicated every single line. I don't have to retype every one. And the beauty of it is I know that the left side language and the right side language are absolutely identical. But it gets even better. Do I have to type linguist now and the pipe manually? No. You see all those cursors there? I'm going to press space, pipe symbol, space, linguist, hyphen space. Press escape to get out of that mode. Press save. And now I know that every single language here on the left side matches every language on the right. I know that the spacing is all the same between each one. And I know for a fact that it matches every single one in this languages text file because that's exactly where I got it from. So in less than two minutes, saved probably an hour to two hours of busy work and with infinitely more accuracy. So I hope this is helpful. A reminder, it's called selection, split into lines, and you can use it for so many different things. And I hope you find it very, very helpful. Uh, as I mentioned, I am with Break Diving Inc. We always are recruiting new volunteer coders, Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, etc. And we would love you to come join us if you'd like. If you like this video, please subscribe. I, I have lots of interesting topics on this channel, not just about coding. So don't be surprised if you see comedy and music and all that other stuff. But as I find more coding tips, I'll be sure to share them with you. Bye.